Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Wilson and my role at the World Equestrian Games is coordinating our team of veterinary students. We're very excited to have 33 young women who want careers in equine sports medicine here. Each veterinary college was asked to elect, the faculty were asked to elect their best student that wanted to come and we really have a terrific group. So they are supporting the veterinarians here at the Games in a multiplicity of roles and having the opportunity to both see top-notch competition as well as a better understanding of what veterinarians do at this sort of a venue. So uh, it's very exciting for them, it's a lot of fun for me and we're really enjoying ourselves so far, but we're all really tired. We also have an evening seminar series that is uh, every evening at 6. For the most part, we are having one of the very experienced veterinarians here present their perspectives on their niche in equine sports medicine. So, uh, for example, last Friday night we had Dr. Martha Mischeff, who's an endurance veterinarian, talk about what she thought every young vet student wants to go into endurance riding should know about what goes on as a great introduction, a huge enthusiasm from the students in response. Uh, last night, for example, we talked about dressage, Dr. Rick Mitchell, who's our dressage team vet, and then Roger Lazé gave us a great presentation on the equine ambulance and how to get a down horse in and out. And they got to practice with his mannequin, so the students a lot of them had never been exposed to that before. So, so far it's gone great. We can't wait to hear what else is coming. Hi, my name is Taryn Gervais and I'm a fourth year student at Tufts. Um, I'm from Connecticut and I've been at the WEG for one week working under Dr. Julie Wilson um, and I've spent my time in various um, different parts of the veterinary team. So I spent two days um, screening horses that are pyroplasmosis positive for ticks. Um, I also, um, today I'm in the veterinary clinic working with the blood work and um, also working with any horses that come in and need treatments. Um, my favorite day was probably um, when I was on with, a, with one of the team veterinarians. Um, I spent the morning with Dr. Rick Mitchell and that was really awesome. He's the U.S. dressage veterinarian and I got to see the horses go in the morning and just talk to him about like various aspects of each horse's um, performance. So it's been a wonderful experience. Every day has been awesome. Like I like every day is different. So I'm looking forward. To, I'm really looking forward to um, as more horses are competing, like seeing, being able to see different cases. Um, not that I'm hoping anything goes wrong for anyone, but it's just exciting to like be able to be a part of the veterinary team that's working to help. So um, in the days to come, I'll be on the ambulatory. That'll be exciting. I, they're really running around and keeping busy. Hi, my name is Tiffany Trotter. I'm a fourth year veterinary student at Western University's College of Veterinary Medicine, which is in Pomona, California. And I have been here at the veterinary clinic at the WIG since Monday, last Monday, uh, a week ago today. And so far, uh, my jobs have been to do the CEM monitoring and also working with the FBI veterinarians. Um, and then since then, I've been working very closely with Dr. Ken Allen in his clinic. And so far, I'd say my most favorite part was doing the trot-ups. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing the rest of those. So far, we've done endurance and dressage, and I'm really looking forward to eventing and show jumping. We do work so much. Um, I, I don't really know what day it is. Yesterday was Sunday, but it kind of felt like a Wednesday to me. So, um, but I'm just going to keep going until the end. This is Amy Norville, senior student from LSU. And she was here early and got the uh, dubious honor <laughs> of uh, being the night watch person for the horses. And she did that from almost day one. So she has walked about a million miles <laughs> all night long in these barns, looking at horses doing colic watch and patrol, <laughs> making sure there are no problems. And she's done a super job at it. Now she's back in our clinic and helping us out. Have you enjoyed yourself, Amy? Most definitely, and um, gotten to see a lot of good horses and see how things run and stuff, so it's been an awesome experience. What's been your favorite part so far? Ooh, that's, there's definitely no way you can just narrow it down to one because it's the whole experience together that from just being around and seeing everybody, all the different teams driving around in their golf carts with their flags and everything to the pre-jugs for all the competitions and then seeing how everything works here at night and stuff. It's, it's the whole experience that's what's so 
amazing. There's definitely been some cases that we've been more involved in, so it's been great to see the horses that we've gotten to know and the riders and stuff, and when they go off on the competition, you definitely feel much more a part of the experience because you know them on a more personal level, so that's, that's a great way. There's been mostly just we've had endurance and raining so far, so we'll see as the rest of the competition goes on how that pans out. <laughs> Dr. Allen, I think you've taught her a lot about patient confidentiality because she didn't crack, did she? She, she didn't. I noticed that. That was very good. Uh, and and yeah, I hope you appreciate her Louisiana accent yes, here. Uh, she's actually from Zimbabwe. So. Far from home, either way. So, so thanks, and I hope you guys appreciate meeting some of the students.